got these, which are my favorite. Um, I have a little bit of purple and yellow. Hi everybody, welcome back to Stanford's Modern Homestead. I'm Brenda, and I'm out here on this beautiful Saturday, and I just picked up some flowers from the Amish nursery down the road, and I just wanted to share that with you and let you know what I, where I'm planting them today. So I got these purple ones, and um, those are pansies. And I got these yellow ones with alyssum in them. The white is alyssum. And I usually try to do a little purple and yellow and white. So I got some pure white ones with a little yellow center as well. And that's kind of my, my go-to favorites for the spring. And um, I got these little Johnny Jump Ups, vi violas, violets, people call them. And they have some alyssum in there as well. The Amish really do a nice job getting these ready for you. I've got these, which are my favorite. Um, I have a little bit of purple and yellow. So I'm just gonna mix those in between all my different containers and um, put these in a special spot on the table so that they're more visible because they're so little. And then I also got a new camellia while I was there because I couldn't pass it up. It was so pretty. Um, and it's going to go out in the front flower bed to replace one that um, we lost over the winter that died. So now I'm going to go on into the barn and I'm going to um, get my uh, pots ready. I bought a few new ones that are um, like the galvanized metal look. So I have these galvanized buckets. I'm going to put some holes in the bottom here so that the water will drain out and won't drown the plant when you water your plants. So I'll finish working on this one and um, get outside and start planting. I got the holes all drilled into the containers and I'm over here near the garage where I place the containers where I'm gonna keep them. Um, typically I try to put some recycle some uh, milk jugs or laundry detergent bottles in the bottom of the container to take up some of the space and that way you don't have to have so much soil but this time I was fresh out and I used some stones that we had sitting around in the, on the property. You can also use um, cracked old terracotta pots. If you have those laying around, you can also use pieces of styrofoam. The stones are what we used today and I've got some field dirt that I put in t on top of those. And now I'm gonna put in some potting soil and I'm going to start planting a little bit of variety in each one. just about the right amount we left out today. So, I'm gonna grab these flowers and get going. Gotta figure out how many of each I want in them. And, 
see what looks best together, just kind of play around with it. going to, while I'm at this, I need to trim these spillers back. This is a vinca vine and it kind of gets brown over the sum, over the winter when it, the frost and the snow gets to it. But um, I'll just cut it back here down near the um, bottom, near the, near the new growth and it'll grow back out and spill over the sides and in this pot right here I don't know if you can see it but I actually have a chrysanthemum in there and it looks like white daisies and I probably am going to switch this out because of that <laughs> and put something more colorful with it and maybe I'll do this over here instead because the white is just going to blend in with the house if I put it over there. So I'm going to put it down here so it'll have that dark backdrop and you can see them a little bit better when you come up to the house. So I think I like that better. I'm just going to trim these back and I do this every year. They stay alive in these pots from year to year. I planted them probably uh, 12 years ago, I want to say in these pots and they just keep coming back every year so some things are like that and you can get a lot of um, use out of it these are perennial vines and it's like an ivy but it's um, grows really quick where ivy grows very slowly um, these are really fast growers and I've got a couple little shoots back here coming up too so It'll kind of be some all around. And that one is crazy, so I'm going to have to cut that one way back. And I may even take, when I start digging in here, I may take some of these out and put them in a couple of my big flower pots in the back porch because um, it's just getting a little bit too much for this basket and or this container, and I'd like to have more flowers in there than greens. So... Um, going to do that. So I'm going to work on this for a while and then I will show you some of the finished product when I get done. Fun fact, those spillers, whatever you call them, what are these things called? Vinca. Vinca. Vinca will trip you when you're going in that door right there. About August time frame, <laughs> those things are growing across yeah, in front of the door long. and uh, Let's just say I've had them wrapped around my feet a couple times. But so we need to keep we need to do a better job at keeping those spillers from spilling so much. Yeah. These pansies are a little bit root bound. You see that? That white stuff? That's roots. And um what I usually do is I just take this little rake and I rough up the roots that are going around the edge like this and then I actually do a pretty good number on breaking this up so that and sometimes I just rip some off because it's too much and it will stunt the growth of your little plant so it actually looks like you're hurting it but it will go through a short period of shock and maybe not flower as much as it was at the store for a week or two. But once those little roots start getting into this new soil and making themselves comfortable in here, they're gonna bounce back better than ever. And if we left that, they would just eventually, they've run out of room. So they would run out of nutrients as well. And we, um, 
we need to make sure that they're going to grow for a few months so we want to get those off of there and give them some opportunity to get some fresh growth on those roots and get in spread out into the bigger pot so so there's a couple other things that I wanted to show you with planting some bedding plants in these pots um, basically I have had the this one here for quite a while there's my new one that I got finished with the white ones in there and I'm just gonna dig a little hole a little bit bigger than the pot and you can kind of see that'll fit right in there and then I'm gonna check for roots and this one has them too so I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up and loosen those up a little bit get rid of the tag you don't need tags in your pots that's not a good look you know what it is and if you need to have a reminder or you want to see refer back to it over time then keep it in the drawer in the kitchen or something <sighs> that's what I do so I want this to sit Let me turn it so you can see I want this little root ball the top of this soil that's already on this plant to sit right at the top of the same level as this in the pot as it is in the pot when I'm done so I want to make sure that the bottom of my hole is firm because I don't want it to sink over time if the soil underneath is really soft then it's going to sink down and the plant is going to get too much water and it may drown or it may just not flower well and won't do well so I don't know if we can see that but we're right about the same level as the soil now and I'm just gonna fill that in the rest of the way and then it will be sitting nice and level with the rest of the soil Well, there we have it, all done. So I went out back and I found a thriller, is what this would be called. It's something tall that fills the pot. And then we have our fillers, the lower flowers. And then we know we have these long vines that are gonna come out and those are the spillers. So we have all three. And then over on the other side, I showed you the chrysanthemum plant that's in the center and that will grow in about a month or so and it will fill up the pot and um, be a lot taller so we've got some variation in height and then this is going to get taller and fill up the space we've got some different colors and we've got a nice variety for spring if you like this video please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and consider subscribing to the channel. That would really help us out a lot.